Hey everyone, in this lecture we will explore the concept of application ontology. Okay. So, so far we have seen the reference ontology which aims to represent the reality as it is, that is independent of human perception. But today we shift our focus to application ontology, that is a more practical problem oriented approach. Now uh, let me ask you that is uh, when you use google maps how does it know the best route for you or when an a based medical system diagnoses a disease how does it decide which treatment is suitable okay so these specifications rely on application ontologies which are uh, knowledge models custom built for specific tasks so unlike reference ontologies which aims to describe reality in a pure and universal way application ontologies focus on solving real world problems efficiently okay so the key uh, features in application ontologies are application ontologies this is built with computational efficiency in mind while reference ontologies use uh, full first order logic that is this application ontologies use a simplified logic to make reasoning faster and more effective now uh, let's break down this so unlike this uh, reference ontologies this AO that is uh, application ontologies rely on unary and uh, binary application predicates so that is the statements about classes and relationships between the objects and then conjunction and distinction but they often avoid negation to keep uh, reasoning uh, simply uh, simpler okay for example, imagine an autonomous vehicle that must identify the obstacles and navigate the road safely. The ontology behind its AI system needs to process real-time data quickly and efficiently. So here it doesn't need to model the entire physics of motion like a reference ontology would. Instead, it focuses, it focuses on defining what is an obstacle. How should the car respond based on uh, different scenarios? Which travel rules should be followed? So by keeping the logic tracked uh, manageable for computation, this application ontologies enable fast decision making, which is crucial in fields like robotics, AI and automation. And next, unlike uh, next uh, philosophical inclination that is uh, pragmatism over realism, so here unlike reference ontologies which assume an objective reality application ontologies take a pragmatic approach so they so this they don't uh, claim to describe reality perfectly instead they define concepts based on human needs and utility so in other words application ontologies are built to work not to seek the absolute truth for example consider a healthcare diagnosis system that uses the ai to suggest the treatments Okay, reference ontology would try to define disease in an absolute universal sense considering all the theoretical aspects. But an application ontology, however, it would focus on how doctors interact with diseases, what uh, symptoms they observe, what treatments they use, and what decision-making processes are followed in hospitals. So in this case, uh, practical usability is more important than the abstract philosophical definition of the disease. So next is the methodological emphasis on fidelity. So here's where application ontologies differ from differs the most from the uh, uh, reference ontologies. So this reference ontologies which focus on truth, they aim to capture reality as accurately as possible. But application ontologies focus on fidelity. They must watch how experts and the systems actually use knowledge in practice. An application ontology is judged not by how true it is but by how well it aligns with expert knowledge in a specific domain. Okay, for example, think of a manufacturing plant that uses AI to predict uh, machine failures. So a reference ontology would define wear and tear in an abstract sense. But an application ontology would define machine failure based on how engineers diagnose and uh, repair issues in practice. Okay, so the, uh, here the key question for an application ontology is does it represent expert knowledge accurately and usefully? If yes, then it serves its uh, then it serves its purpose even if it doesn't perfectly capture an objective reality. Okay. 
So these are the ontological rares and the comparison of uh, reference ontology versus uh, application ontology is uh, for the based on the purpose reference ontology it represents reality objectively and in application ontology it models knowledge for specific task okay so logical used in the ro that is we are termed as ro and ao okay so logical used is full first order logic that is complex uh, less computationally efficient and here in ao is a simplified logic so philosophy is uh, realism whereas world exists independently and this uh, ao is pragmatism that is knowledge is shaped by human use and it focuses on this ro focuses on truth and correctness whereas this ao it is usability and practical accuracy an example for RO or ontology of uh, time, ontology of existence. And AO applications will be in A in healthcare, autonomous driving, industrial automation. Okay. So finally, for uh, we have a common example that is, let's say we are designing an ontology for an e-commerce website like Amazon. Okay. So a reference ontology would try to define what a product is in a deep philosophical sense and what makes an item a product, what uh, categories exist universally. So in the case of uh, application ontology, this would focus on how the website organizes products for search, recommendations and transactions. So clearly application ontology is more practical for this scenario. Okay. So these are the uh, uh, reference ontology versus application ontology. So as engineers, uh, our goal is not to understand the knowledge, but to use it efficiently. So application ontology, it enable AI systems to reason efficiently. That is example, autonomous cars, chatbots, industrial automation. And it helps uh, business structure knowledge for uh, real world applications, for example, e commerce, healthcare, finance, and then allow machines and humans to work together by providing structured knowledge that computers can process. So, uh, at the end of the day, knowledge engineering is about solving problems, not just uh, theorizing. And that's why application ontology is such a powerful tool in modern engineering. So, thank you.